Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird. Thanks for listening to my podcast. This is A Pilgrim or a Traveler? Why You Have to Leave to Come Home. One thing I learned about leaving my country is my country sucks. My son lamented the typical American hotel room for which we had paid $335. I hope somebody washed these sheets. The air conditioner droned under the window. In Scotland, there were no plastic cups in the hotel room. There were ceramic cups, stainless steel spoons, a down duvet, a real breakfast in the morning, and climate control that was felt, not heard. When we gathered for the first night of the tour, our host said, We should come as pilgrims, not travelers. A traveler might expect things to be a certain way, to have all their days planned out. A pilgrim comes with an open mind and gratitude for the unexpected things we encounter along the way. The trick for me is to be a pilgrim when I come home. I wouldn't go so far as to say my country sucks. I encourage you to leave it whenever you can and get some perspective. Then I encourage you to come home and say things about it to people you love that you wouldn't say on the internet. When people say that gas prices are too high or taxes are out of control, I know they don't own a passport. When people say the greatest country in the world, I just think they need to get out more. There are no drip coffee makers in Scotland, as far as I can tell. I didn't see a French press or a percolator. You pay for an impeccable espresso-style coffee or drink instant Nescafe. I'm the kind of person who has to know why. I don't yet. I appreciate a good mystery, and I appreciate coming home and making a decent cup of coffee for myself that doesn't cost $4. If I find out why Scotland's coffee is all or nothing, I'll report back. On the way to Parliament in Edinburgh, a building proclaims, a nation is forged in the hearth of poetry. The U.S. feels more like it was forged in the hearth of a credit card. America can't respect poetry because we'd have to deal with a lot of cultural bullshit that we don't want to deal with. It's wild to travel the world, hear hip-hop everywhere, and realize that the rest of the world knows America better than America does because they actually listen to our poets. So, it's a mixed bag, right? It's a pretty good country. Get a passport, though. Come back like a pilgrim. Check out the poets. If you read or look at this podcast on Substack or in your email, all the photos are mine. I'm working on putting together a photography workshop and tour of Scotland with Traceless Tours, with whom I just did this recent music tour. So stay tuned. Uh, Please share this if you like it. And this is a reader-supported podcast. To receive new posts and support my work, consider becoming a free subscriber or a paid subscriber at jonathanbird.substack.com. And thanks for listening.